Now then, and welcome back to another episode of Adventure Fishing UK. I'm lure fishing for pike on the Lancaster Canal today. I'm about to head down though, it's quite windy, so I thought I'd do my intro up here. But today I'm going to be pike fishing with mystery lures, and I'll tell you exactly what I mean by that now. So there's a company out there called Hook Me Up Lures, and you can buy individual species boxes, you can buy uh, them for pretty much everything you can lure fish for. You can just get bronze, silver, gold, they can be on a subscription, so you can get one through every month. But I just decided, you know what, I'll pick up a pike box because I'm interested in using a few things I didn't usually use really. Um, a couple things a bit different that I've never used before. So we're going to get into this box and see what there is. So this is the Hook Me Up Lure box right here. Let's get into it and see what we've got. Crack it open. Loads of goodies in there. Let's have a proper look. First up we've got one of these, this is an LMAB Drunk Dancer. I've heard a lot about these, I've seen a lot of these on other channels. Um, it's supposed to be really good, this is quite a small size which is very useful. So hopefully I'll be able to pick one up on there quite easily. I'll have to have a look through my jig heads and see if I've got any good rigging for that. Number two, really cool looking thing actually, we've got the Wolf Creek Shad in Trout Pattern. This is quite a sizable lure this. Now that yeah, I reckon I can get one on that, but that's more going to come into its own and say Windermere. I might save that one for when I'm fishing a trout water because the detailing on that is exceptional. Feels like good quality rubber as well. Now I've also got a head banger. I've never used one of these before. I do have one that I've been intending to use, but I've not got around to it. 11 centimeters. This is a really unique looking thing. I'll show you it in a bit more detail when we get down to the canal. But again, yeah, I reckon I'll get one on this today. So as well as the lures, I've got one of these chucked in. Well, should I say two of these? Fox Rage 18 kilogram traces. Now, funnily enough, I am actually short on traces, so that's coming really handy. I'm down to my last one, actually, or two, so that's a good little top up right there. Now, I am actually saving the best till last, but second last, we've got a Gunky. I don't know what this is. I don't know much about Gunky as a brand, actually, but this is, again, a big soft bait. That's a good looking pattern, I'm sure I'll be able to get one on there as well, but I think I'll go through the smaller lures first, just try to load up on the fish. Then last but definitely not least, we've got the Western Swim. I've actually got another one of these in a different colour that I've never used yet, so I've never used any of these lures I'm going to be using today, which is going to make it quite challenging. But have a look at that Western Swim there. I've heard really good things about this lure, so with a bit of luck, I'll be able to get onto some fish with it. No, unfortunately I can't really find anything to rig these two up with. My fault really, I could do with stocking up on uh, like those traces with the hooks and stuff. If anyone knows where to get those, let me know. But I think for today we'll be focusing on the other three and trying to get the hat trick. I'll see you down on the canal. First order of business, I'm gonna get one of these Fox Rage titanium traces on. Now I'm starting off with what I deem to be the best lure in the box in terms of how easy I think it's gonna to be to catch a quick fish on and move on to the next. No other than the Western Swim. Let's get cracking. Now the action on this lure is just crazy. I can see why people rave about it so much. It just darts from side to side like that with such little effort. But I did actually read something about the Western Swim online. One article said that it was the guide's choice for fishing lures because you get such a good action even if you're not experienced at all at lure fishing. So if I can't catch one on this then I suppose I don't even deserve to be out here trying this. Oh I just had a hit then. It's following it still. Come on, come on. Take it, I've only been fishing five minutes. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. Fish, fish, oh, that didn't take long at all. Yes. Well, first fish on the old western swim only took me about five or six minutes. Gonna get this fish back quick and then move on to the next. Off you go, mate. 
Now, unfortunately, the Western Swim's gonna have to come off. I've only had it on for 10 minutes and I've been absolutely loving using it. So, gonna swap over. The point behind this exercise really is to see how many lures I can catch fish on. Not taking long. Let's switch things up a bit. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. Next up, we got the head banger. Now this is a really unique looking thing. This head is completely loose. I've seen these before, but I never used them. So I am excited about this one. First cast of the head banger. I sort of know vaguely what this is going to look like, but not really. So I'm really interested to see how well this is going to work. I do love a paddle tail as well. I've always been a big fan of the old paddle tail. So I don't think I should have too much trouble with this. Now I do quite like the action on this. However, I will say it's not the Western Swim. So it could be taking me a bit longer to hook up with this. There's only one treble on the bottom as well. And you saw the size of that pike that hit before. Fish is gonna have to hit very specifically to get hooked up on this. Unless of course a big one comes along and takes it all in one. It's always nice when the family comes down for a little visit. Hi Alfie, how are you doing? The little nipper's six months old now, nearly seven. Time is flying by. I'm sure the older you get, the closer and closer the years feel together. So that's one down and I have to admit, I am not as convinced by the headbanger as I am the Western swim, but gonna carry on with it I've only been fishing about 25 minutes now so I'm sure I'm sure it won't be too long before I at least get a bit more interest in this just thought I'd quickly run you through my setup so I've got the rigged and ready world traveler travel rod here with my Abu Garcia superior s 2500 no 2000 shallow spool reel I've got quite light braid on today that's 20 pound braid that's the lightest I'd go for pike fishing and then as I said before we've got the head banger and the Fox Rage Trace from Hook Me Up Lures. Okay. Fish. Will you help me please? I've lost my net, net magnet, so I'll need you to undo the net. Oh, the headbanger's done it. Thank you, that'll do. Yeah! Headbanger lure's only gone and done it. It's no monster. It's a lovely little pike. Second lure out of three. Let's get it back. Saying goodbye to the headbanger for now. Back in the bag. Now it's time for the LMAB Drunk Dancer. Now if you've noticed, I've been using less and less hooks as the day goes on. So I started with two trebles, then onto one treble. Now I'm onto a single hook. And I'm not sure if this is even the right size jig head because I don't often use this sort of thing. But I've heard great things about this lure. So looking forward to having a go. I know this jig head is too heavy for what I'm doing but I'm just hoping I'll be able to get away with it for one fish. I didn't have any smaller ones. I really need to work on my selection of jig heads. Otherwise I'm gonna end up really restricting the amount of lures I can use. But I reckon if there's a big pike in here, it'll go for this. Just look at this action here. Those tails go mad. Someone's getting a bit shut eye down there. May well switch things up back to the Western Swim if I have no luck in about 10 more minutes. Just because this lure does have an insane action, but I've just not really prepared it well enough for the current situation, I don't think. But I will persist for a bit. So I've swapped back over to the Western Swim because I'm more confident in this than anything else there. And I just want to catch some fish. I'm in fish catching mode. Hat's going down. Let's get to it. Oh, 
Oh, a perch is following it. Look at that. Go on, son, have a go. Oh, he's bottled it. Oh, you're joking. Boat. Let's try to cover some ground. This is a really good little stretch coming up, so I'm just gonna hang it down there. Oh, I had a bite then. Hi. I'd have definitely just had that fish then if that boat wasn't coming, if I'd have approached it normally. Often on the second cast as well, you get them when they just tap the end of your lure like that, but gonna have to give it five minutes now sit down have a chill out and just wait for this water to settle I think so I've known about hook me up lures for a while I just never got one never got any of the boxes but I've been watching a lot of the lure fishing podcast that's a really good thing to get into if you're into your lure fishing I'll leave a link to that in the description below um, and that's what sort of highlighted it to be honest because the guy who runs it is on there and really interested me as an idea and I've had fun making this video I mean, maybe I didn't give the drunk dancer its fair enough go, but it's clear that everything in that box was a good fish catcher. Even the head banger, which I wasn't so sure about at the start. And everything you did see, those bigger ones, are definitely going to catch fish as well. And just for context, I didn't, I bought that myself. I didn't get given it. It was about 50 quid. That's what it gets you. Good value for money, in my opinion, but you can make your own mind up about that. I believe you get more in the box than the RRP for each individual lure, so I can't believe I've got to this point in my fishing career without ever trying the Western swim. And that's the benefit of doing stuff like this really, is you just don't know what you're missing out on. And this clearly is a very good lure. Big pike. Oh. Oh. I just missed a really big fish. Looks nice, doesn't it? Fish. Fish on. I don't think it was that same one, but definitely not that same one, but at least it's a fish. Will you help me, please? Ooh, ho, ho. Whoa, ho, ho. Yeah. <laughs> Get him! Come on! So still it's no monster, no monster pike really, but it's bigger than the other two. Third fish of the day on the Western swim. I am starting to really like that lure. This fish is half the size of the one that just had a go at that, but I'm grateful nonetheless. Let's get this fish back. So this t-shirt is from Yukon Road. My mates just started a clothing brand, so I just bought this. Got a nice little fishing related back on it, so I copped one. So if you, if you wanna check that out, I'll leave the link in the description below. Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you for the next video. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll catch you down the road.